Hey, it's Nate from Navigator Bookkeeping with a QuickBooks how-to video. Now, we've been talking a little bit about AR, and one problem with the AR accounts receivable, I should say, is that sometimes it takes a long time for people to pay you. Uh, it might be just out of, you know, their inbox is very full of invoices. It might be the fact that they just don't want to pay you. It might be that cash is short in their business. But every business experiences having short cash flow, having tight cash flow at some point. Um, and invoicing and AR can be a big piece of that. So what I want to talk about today is one way to actually get around invoicing, to not have to send invoices every month to all of your clients, to not have to worry about how fast they're going to pay or not pay your invoice, um, or even thinking about, you know, is this invoice going to get in their spam folder? Are they going to lose it? Are they going to just forget to pay? Um, so let's talk about that. What we're going to talk about is, is basically recurring payments and setting those up in QuickBooks so that they're automatically coming out of your uh, client's account, which is a really nice way to get around invoices. Now, just a couple pieces of information first. This obviously is not going to work for everyone. If you have a type of business where you're charging a different amount each month to all of your clients, this is obviously not going to work because you're going to have to adjust that amount every time. This is only going to work for businesses that are charging the same amount month over month, at least for a certain period of time. Even if it's three or four or five months, it's still going to save you a lot of time rather than sending out an invoice um, each month each of those months. Uh, so if you are if you have some of your clients or all of your clients who you're charging the same amount to, you're doing kind of the same services month over month to them, this is a great way to make it convenient for them and for you because what's going to happen is the money is just going to pull out of their account instead of you having to send them an invoice, they pay the invoice, they might lose the email, they might forget to pay the invoice. We're going to avoid all that and they're just going to be able to get the money withdrawn um, right away. Now, a couple internal controls to set up. You're obviously, number one, pulling information from people's accounts without asking them every month, which sounds risky. That's why we are going to set up a uh, recurring ACH authorization form, or you're going to want to do that. Basically, what that is, is it's saying, I'm going to withdraw X amount of money on this state of this frequency from this client's account. And the client's going to put all their banking information on there. They're going to sign it and say, I agree to this. And you need to have that form, have it signed and have it stored in a secure place because it obviously has your client's banking information on it. So you don't just want that saved on your desktop where anyone can get it. You want to make sure that's saved somewhere secure. Um, and yeah, very important to have that form because if your client starts seeing you withdrawing money out of their account and they're not sure if they signed a form and they don't remember that, that is not going to lead to improved trust with your client. You're probably going to lose your client and they might even you know, want to be taking legal action against you. So very important to have all of your procedures all airtight on this. Make sure that your client feels good about this, they agree to it, and you have a form stored in a secure place showing exactly how much your money you're going to take out and when you're going to do it. So that all gets at the uh, prereqs to setting this up, but let's set this up and show you how to do this. So where we're going to go is we're going to go to the settings gear icon here. And we're going to go to recurring transactions. You could also set this up over here in the quick create button, which is on the left side of my screen, this plus button, and click plus um, sales receipt. But I like doing it from the gear icon because when we click on recurring transactions, we're going to see all the recurring transactions that we have set up. Um, these can be bills, they can be journal entries, they can be sales receipts. But we're going to set up a sales receipt, which is going to be pulling money from someone's account. So we're going to go to new sales receipt. And we're going to set our client up in here. Now, this is just a sample company. So we're just going to pick any old client here and do Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Uh, you can create it and in advance if you want. I like to check automatically send the emails because that will automatically send your client an email every time you withdraw money from their account, showing how much money you withdrew and why you withdrew it, which is very important. So that's what's up here. You can name it whatever you want. Um, the interval is, is how often this is going to come out. So we're going to say monthly on the first day, uh, of the month, you can change it. You know, you can do days of the week. You can kind of set it up however you want. Um, and start date is very important. You're going to set this up for the future. If you set it up for the current date, so March 22 is today, if I set it up for March 22 or earlier, it's not going to run. So I need to make sure that it is a day in the future that matches up with kind of my criteria over here. So I'm going to set it up for April 1, since this is running on the first of every month. And then you can also set up an end date for it. So, you know, a certain amount of occurrences or something along those lines. Down here, you're going to set up what your product or service is. Um, this sample company is a landscape company. So we're going to say we're doing design services every month and it's $200. You can put a nice description in here and then also add a message on the sales receipt um, 
for your client so they know you know what's going on with this and they have a, a nice record for the money that's coming out. You always want to make sure that you're giving as much documentation and detail to your clients as possible when you're taking money from their account like this. So that's all down here. This is going to just copy itself every month. So the first of every month right now, April 1, May 1, ongoing, is going to just send a receipt to them and just going to pull money right out of their bank account. So how do we get the bank account information entered in here? I can't show you the full process because this is a sample company and you have to have QuickBooks payments set up to do this. But basically you're going to click on check. And when you click on check in a real QuickBooks account, and I would show you mine, but then you would see all my client information and you know, <laughs> don't wanna do that, it's confidential. But you click check, what's gonna happen is a box is gonna pull up right here. It's gonna say enter banking information. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna enter in routing number ACH, or uh, sorry, routing number, account number, phone number, um, and the name of the checking account. And you're going to get that all from that ACH authorization form that we talked about. And then once you click that, a very important box is going to pop up below it. It's going to say, I have authorization to process this form, or it might say, I will process, or I want to process this form. If you don't click that, it won't run. It won't pull from the account. So very important to click that box. Once you click that it, and it says, this is getting processed, this deposit to box will actually go away. So you'll know that's when you're set to go and then you'll press save template. Once it's saved, it'll show up here in the recurring transactions box. You'll see when the next date is, um, what the amount is, and you can always edit it, pause it, you know, delete it, skip the next date, do any of those things over there as well. Um, it'll also show you the previous date. Once it's set up, it's really important to check this over here and make sure that the next date is correct for when you want this to run. So that's how you set up recurring payments. Um, it's, it's a little bit of work on the front end, obviously, to get the uh, signature and the information from your client. But once it's running, basically money's just going to come into your account from your client's account every month, whenever you want it to, or, you know, every couple months, every year, whatever frequency you have it set up. And you're not gonna have to worry about sending an invoice, receiving payment, reminding them all those things. So it's a really nice tool. It's going to save you and your client a lot of time and convenience. Let me know if you have any questions. It can be a little bit of a process. So always happy to answer questions if you get stuck while you're setting that up. Thanks.